think failure would be capping off where we were in 2012 with roughly 1% of the vote or lower. I think going backwards would be a failure. If we don't do better this time than we did in 2012, I would consider that to be a bad result in the presidential campaign. Well, libertarians are always reluctant to put a number on it, but I will, uh, I will go out there and say that uh, in this election, with this opportunity, anything less than 3% of the national popular vote for president should be regarded as a failure. First target is to get to 5% because once we're at 5%, we make ballot access a lot easier for all these states. I would like to see us get between 10 and 15%. Failure for the Libertarian Party, uh, you know, I guess not getting into the debates. I would not be doing this if there weren't the opportunity to actually get elected. But to do that, the only chance that a third party candidate has of getting elected is to be in the presidential debates. The Presidential Debate Commission says that you have to be at 15% in the polls. Key for me right now is just being in the polls. Then we get into the national dialogue, and I think that 20% goes to 25%. And from that point, it's Katie bar the door. And then anything is game at that point. Polls that are between 40 to even 50% of the general public do not want Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump as a president. I'd like to see New, uh, New Mexico give him an electoral vote. I think that would definitely shake things up. To garner enough electoral college votes to prevent the other two candidates from getting a plurality would be a success itself and, and truly of the highest order, to be honest with you. If we could get Republicans really to jump on board and we could get um, some Bernie, you know, disenfranchised Bernie supporters, I mean, we could win the presidency. I mean, there is there is an opportunity there. Because if there are three parties there with two months to go or a month and a half to go or even a month to go, and it's 45, 35, 25, that's too close for the pundits to write anybody off in a crazy year like this. The 2016 results are a springboard to mass defections and the destruction of at least one of the old parties. Basically, the ideal is to follow the line of the Whigs when they basically fell apart and turned into the Republican Party. Um, it's time for the Republican Party to fall apart and go away, or the Democratic Party, I don't really care which. But at least we would get to a point where you'd basically have a plurality system in this country. We would break the two-party system and make it a three-party system so that there are actual political options.